Do we have any brave patriots left? Yes, Ed Brown in New Hampshire is doing a standoff, refusing to surrender after the kangaroo trial he got in a federal court over income taxes that are illegally enforced as if they were mandatory, even though Internal Revenue Service Commissioner always says they're a voluntary compliance. The 17th, 2007, I'm on a phone call with Ed Brown, New Hampshire. And Ed, do you give me permission to record this conversation? Yes, I do. Ed, tell me what year your battle with the IRS started and how it got to the kangaroo trial situation you're in now and why you're refusing to go to court, specifically what you believe is going to happen. I'm asking the court, the IRS, the IRS to uh, show us the law as to the fact that Edward Lane Brown owes the income tax that they claim. For about five or six months later, then in retaliation to that, uh, they dismissed that case because it was sent from the state court that we submitted it to, to the federal court, which was unlawful. But if you don't comply, we're going to take everything you got. Yes, we have patriots like Rick Stanley in Denver, Colorado, who was arrested for doing nothing more than simply carrying a sidearm, which the Colorado State Constitution guaranteed him a right to do. Michael Badnarik, who now is the Libertarian Party uh, presidential candidate, he stood by me uh, from the very beginning. What they did was they called the income tax a voluntary tax. Uh, up until recently, the last few years, they've stopped calling it a voluntary tax. And that was their way of getting around the fact that they couldn't tax Americans' wages directly. So that's, uh, that's a very important issue. And I think once Americans find out about this, they'll stop filing. Now, I stopped filing in the year 2000. Um, I believe that uh, once enough Americans do stop filing, the IRS income tax will be no more. Uh, several years ago, the IRS put out a statement that said 65 million people didn't file income taxes. Today, I'm sure it's much greater. I believe it's probably closer to 100 million people not filing the income taxes. And to tell you the truth, people like me have been baiting the IRS and, and inviting them to come and harass us. Um, I'd love to go to court with the Section 861 evidence, and then have the judge explain to me how he wasn't going to uh, put it into evidence, um, which is what they do all the time. We've also recently discovered that... Yet he served two terms of 90 days or more in county jails, one in Denver and one in Adams County, Colorado, in spite of the law that says he had a right to do so. Yes, we still have patriots like the aging 80-some-year-old William Benson who wrote the book, The Law That Never Was, a two-volume treatise where he went to all the states that existed in 1913 and proved they could not have adopted the federal personal income tax because they passed on it or passed over it. They did not approve it, despite what Philander Knox said because he was answering to the central banksters, the federal private banksters we now call the Federal Reserve, which is a bank in Paris, a bank in London, two or three American banks in New York City. It's made up of a consortium of private banks that issue your private money. I think today, March 6th, is a significant day. We've all but forgotten Davy Crockett, Will Travis, Jim Bowie, who was famous for his Bowie knife. We have all but forgotten them. I think a full pardon will be granted by Bush for Scooter Libby, who's known for scooting under the law and getting away from things. That's how he came up with the nickname Scooter. He's been doing dirty tricks for the Republican Party since he was in college. Today, a jury of people like you and me said, enough. They found him guilty, four out of five charges. I wonder why the prosecutors didn't indict Cheney and Cowell Rowe. Why were they allowed to scoot free? 